Hey guys, let's look at this class example again. I start off by drawing in a center for the station point. To get the vanishing points, I then place my ruler parallel to the right side edge. I drag it across until there is a clear line from the station point to the picture plane. Then I make a mark on the picture plane and bring it down vertically to the horizon line. I do the same thing with the left side edge of my plan view. Next, I identify if there is a true point or true length in my drawing. In this case, we have a true point, as the point touching the plan view corresponds to an angled line. If the observer looks at this angled line, it won't appear to be its true size and shape. For this reason, there is no true length line. Instead, we have a true point. Because points 2 to 5 are on the same level as 1 in the plan and side views, they should lie on the same perspective lines as 1. We can bring down points 2 to 5 by placing them in line with the station point. Where your ruler intersects with the picture plane is where you should place a mark. Bring down each mark onto the picture plane vertically. Dealing with points that are not on the true point line is more complex. These lines are all distorted in dimension in terms of the observer's position. To find the top line of the pyramid, for example, we extend the line with our ruler to the picture plane from our plan view, then extend the line from the side view until both lines intersect at a point. This intersection point is then taken to the left-hand vanishing point. These points are then brought down to their perspective line by placing each point in line with the station point. As the ruler intersects with the picture plane, make a mark and bring that mark down vertically. Now we can join these points together into lines. The same procedure can be followed for the back line. To obtain the perspective circle, start by discretizing your circle on your plan view into equal and symmetrical segments. Match the points on the diameter to the radius on your side view. To get the perspective line for A and E to lie on, we follow the same procedure as before.
neaten up your circle with French curves, an eraser and an eraser shield. Complete the circular cutout at the bottom by extending your matched construction lines to the bottom.